Realty Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Hopefully you were able to get outside and soak up some of that sunshine and very comfortable temperatures as we only made our way into the lower 70s. Finally feeling like a nice fall day here in Acadiana. The good news is it looks like the fall temperatures will be sticking around, but unfortunately we will be bringing back the clouds heading into the upcoming work week along with the chance for some showers heading into the mid part of the week. We're going to take a look at a viewer photo though. First, this was that stratiform cloud deck that was over top the area early this morning before that front officially cleared the area. This was sent in by Ronnie Thibodeau down in Patterson, and you can just see once you got that cloud cover the push out into the Gulf of Mexico, we had bright, sunny blue skies all day long, and that's what we had here in Acadiana throughout most of our days, helping to create just the absolutely fantastic conditions. We have had some high clouds try to work in across portions of Acadiana, especially western portions during the afternoon, but just a picture perfect afternoon on this Sunday. But as I mentioned, it does look like clouds will be returning by tomorrow. We started off at 59 here in Lafayette this morning, topped out around 74 a couple hours ago. Right now we're sitting at 71, 72 still in New Iberia. But with the winds out of the north northeast between 8 to 13 miles per hour today, that added a little extra chill and kept temperatures from really warming up too much today. Still very gusty offshore, so choppy conditions continue through the rest of this evening. But winds will be relaxing later on this evening and into tomorrow. So conditions will be improving offshore heading into our Monday and Tuesday for the rest of this evening. Not much going on. Maybe some low clouds working back in for southern portions of Acadiana, but I think most of us wake up to a good bit of sunshine and very chilly temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s tomorrow morning. You can see throughout the day clouds will start to thicken up throughout a good portion of Acadiana. So after that sunshine to begin the day, clouds quickly work in along with maybe a stray shower down along the coast, especially heading into Tuesday morning as there's going to be a stationary front out over in the northern Gulf of Mexico that could send a little moisture for some of our coastal communities starting off Tuesday morning. As you can see, one or two blimps on the model, but not a whole lot, but it does look like clouds remain locked in throughout most of our Tuesday, so it's going to be another cool and cloudy day with temperatures struggling to get out of the 60s for afternoon high. So I did say those fall like temperatures will be sticking with us into the upcoming work week. By Wednesday, though, we're watching a little bit of an area of low pressure developing in the northwest Gulf of Mexico. That'll begin to send some moisture. Looks like it'll begin to make its way in Wednesday evening and then really pick up heading into Thursday morning. As you can see, some of the yellows picking up on the models. So that's some moderate to heavy downpours possible waking up th Thursday morning and continuing through the first half of the day. So we'll have to watch for the possibility for maybe some heavy rains in some locations where they could see three to five inches. But I think most people get a good inch or so with this system should be moving off to the east by Thursday afternoon heading into Friday continues to slide off that and we begin to clear out on the backside with finally sunshine returning, but temperatures staying on the cooler side as we'll only top out once again in the low the mid 70s, maybe getting up into around 77 by next weekend, but it does look like a very fall forecast in store for the upcoming work week. Temperatures this evening, lower 50s interstate on south, mid to upper 40s for Ville Platte to Alexandria. So going to be one of our coolest mornings in quite some time. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be up around 72 with some upper 60s for northern portions of Acadiana with those clouds increasing throughout the day. With the clouds around, the chance for a few stray showers, not as chilly come or Tuesday morning, only lower 60s, the upper 50, so about 10 degrees warmer come Tuesday morning, but with the clouds, upper 60s to lower 70s looks to be high. So a cool, crisp fall night, 49 for that overnight low with winds dying down. Clear skies, and that is very good news if you're trying to head out and catch the Orionid meteor shower earlier this morning. It'll peak between 1 and 5 a.m. Could have up to 10 to 20 per hour, so you're just going to have to be patient. Look off to the south-southeast for that Orion belt and constellation. That's where you'll begin to see some of those meteors passing through the sky late this evening. Then tomorrow morning sunshine giving away the afternoon clouds 72 so another comfortable day as far as temperatures and it stays that way with rain chances gradually increasing by late Wednesday in the early Thursday morning. That's one of the best chance for some scattered showers and storms clearing out by Friday next week and looks absolutely fantastic as well. Temperatures in the mid 70s temp overnight lows getting down into the 50s and continuing that way into next week.